The Tampa Yankees have a new manager tonight, and his name is Lee Mazzilli. May seem like no big deal to you, but it sure is to me. After all, Mazzilli is my all-time favorite athlete, and I've been carrying around his baseball card in my wallet since 1979. True story. Pathetic, but true story. <laughs> all right, so what do you say to your idol if you're lucky enough to meet him one day? New Tampa Yankees manager Lee Mazzilli is mine, and today I got my big chance. What a thrill. Matt. My name is Drew Swisher. Yeah, sure. I wanted to meet you, you for a long time. Like Seems kind of silly, but I was actually nervous meeting Lee Mazzilli. After all, he's Lee Mazzilli, my childhood hero. Maz, the New York Mets switch hitting center fielder. Mazzilli on his way to second and now trying for third. The one and only favorite player I've ever had. I've carried your baseball card around in my wallet. Let me see. All my life, various cards, because, you know, they get crushed after a while. But we're looking here at a... Well, I, I just, just want to tell you something. Do you have any idea that this is worth about, like, three cents right now? <laughs> that's the max. One Probably cent maxed because out. of the crushed edges. You know? <laughs> now, if it was in mint condition, maybe a nickel. Not to me. <laughs> you see, to me, this is worth thousands. I've carried this baseball card in my life. Well, you know what? I, you know, it's funny because uh, I was like that with Willie Mays. Today was the first day of Lee Mazzilli's managerial career. Ow! Woo! But he spent most of it hanging out with me. See, now some guys you send a picture to them and you never get it back. But I used to send you pictures constantly as a kid, and you, you always autographed them and sent them back. Yeah, but you don't know if I autographed it. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> don't break my heart. You did uh, Yes, it. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. It's my, my hero. Yeah. Play, I'm playing catch with my hero. How many people get an opportunity like My this? Hero. Today, January 22nd, 1997, I played catch with my idol, Lee Mazzilli. My spitter, you the... I'll kind of pop it out at him. Whoa! Well, it's easy to see how the first meeting with your idol could be a big disappointment. I mean, how could it possibly live up to your expectations? Well, Lee Mazzilli answered that question today with a simple game of catch. I'm Drew Soysher. You're not stalking this guy, are you? No, I'm, I'm afraid he might be thinking that. I gotta be careful here. I don't want him to think I'm one of these fatal attraction nutcases. You can put one of those restraining orders on you. <laughs> Already. You're gonna keep that trading card in your wallet? Oh, yeah, I'll keep That'll that in the wallet. That'll stay there always. I got a couple of new ones today, too. That's a privilege, though. That's great. Yeah, you got it was to meet, a, you it meet was him and throw the ball around. A That's big great. deal for me, it really was. Neat. Good deal. You look at me, you look at Tony Dungy, you figure these two dudes have absolutely nothing in common. And you're wrong. Turns out both the Bucks' new head coach and I have the same favorite entertainer. Please welcome Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross, smooth, mellow, and successful. The same words people use to describe Bucks head coach Tony Dungy. Does he sing the way you coach? Uh, he sings the way I would like to feel. And uh, I don't know if I coach that way or not, but I enjoy feeling that way, and that's why I listen to him. Dungy is a Luther Vandross junkie. He owns everything the soul singer has ever recorded, including all eight compact discs. See, if I was by myself here, I'd be singing. Feel free. No, 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 not on camera. No way. I still remember in the days when I was scared to touch you up. How I spent my day dreaming bright and I would say I love you. You must have known that I had feelings deep enough to swim in. That's when you opened up your heart and you told me you're coming. Oh, you know all the words. All right, Tony, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Good seeing you. Enjoyed it. Okay. You know, he's, he's excellent. He's just uh, like I want my team to be, can do it all. Tony Dungy does not listen to any music before a football game, but afterwards, he spends about one solid hour with Luther Vandross. I'm Drew Soysher. Take a look at USF's new head basketball coach, Seth Greenberg, and answer this question. What kind of music do you think he listens to? Time's up. Come out the 
Rock and roll star Billy Joel has millions of fans across the world, but none of them is bigger than USF's new basketball coach, Seth Greenberg. Only the good die young. That's what I said. I tell you, only the good die young. Only the good die young. You might have heard I run with a dangerous crowd. We ain't too pretty, we ain't too proud. We might be barking a bit too loud. Ah, but I never heard no one. When Seth Greenberg attended his first rock concert about 20 years ago, Billy Joel was on stage, and Greenberg's been hooked ever since. Get it right the first time, that's just the main thing. Whoa, we gotta let it pass. Get it right the next time, that's just the same thing. Whoa, we gotta let the first time pass. Is there any wine you want? Our Italian restaurant. Just pop right out. All right, Coach. Thanks, man. True. You're the best. Time. What time tomorrow now? Noon. Noon again tomorrow. Remember, only the good die young when you lose. <laughs> See you. Thanks. All right. You know, the Stanley Cup playoffs are a great time to meet new friends, and man, have I found one. I want you to meet my new best buddy. He's Philadelphia's most obnoxious cab driver, Arson Arnie Adkins. Yo, yo, Kevin, yo, yo, yo. Good, I ain't got all day. Hurry up. Show me the town, huh? Hurry up. Show me the town. Let's go. Hey, there's Rocky Balboa. Yeah, no kidding, you moron. This is a statue of Rocky. This represents everything Philly's about. Nothing but winners, cuz. Yeah, I'll get, the, I'll get the whole thing for you, you bum. Yeah, keep your arms raised. That's all you got going for you. When's the last time Tampa Bay won anything? A uh, duh, what? Name anything. Other than good looking women, you ain't got squat. Now, what if the Lightning win tomorrow night? If the Lightning win tomorrow night, I'll drive you back to Florida for free. <laughs> all right? <laughs> when they lose, there you go. Life is no good. Yo, Arnie, I'm getting hungry, man. I got just a spot for you, cuz. Yo, let me get one of those famous steak and cheeses. It's a cheese steak, you moron. Cheese steak with onion? Cheese steak, yeah, cheese steak with onion. The sandwich is good. Makes your arteries good and stiff. Nothing quite like it. I love it. Mm. Don't you guys got the Liberty Bell here? Yeah, we got it here. A crack was discovered in the bell. That was the first crack. When did it start? We don't know. Why did it start? Well, there's a couple possibilities. Another crack. Oh, Congress is guaranteed. Back then, Christmas shit wasn't too good. <laughs> this is the most historic building in the United States of America. This is Independence Hall. But what if the Lightning beat the Flyers? What if the Lightning beat the Flyers? You know, how you guys... That would be history. Now, that, that would be, like, another national historic landmark. All right, let's go. Come on, kids, get out of my way, you morons. <laughs> so now you know why they call it the city of brotherly love. By the way, my cab fare was 132 bucks. We're live at the Stanley Cup playoffs in Philadelphia. I'm Drew Soysher. Thanks, Drew. I bet your tip was about 50 cents, too, huh? <laughs> you had no money left. <laughs> the 28 Tampa Bay Sports Little League Player of the Week might just be the littlest little leaguer in the country, but you can't measure guts, and that's what this kid's all about. Okay, now watch this ball, okay? He's up. only 27 inches tall, but eight-year-old Kerry Sarna is the biggest baseball hero in Tampa Bay. <laughs> Despite a lifelong battle with dwarfism, Sarna plays in the Pinellas Park Challenger Little League, and nobody has more fun. Nice hit. Yeah. But he needs to feel like he's a part of normal life. He, he, you know, he doesn't get to do a lot of things that normal kids can do. He's wanting to play baseball, and when we heard about this league, I thought it would be good for him to get out and interact with the other kids and try to play. Right, you're gonna run. 
Nobody on this earth has more reason to complain than little Carrie Sarna. Come on, come on, Carrie. Come on. But you know what? He never does. Anybody else would be, would be mad at everybody, but not him. He just smiles and just, he loves people. What's he mean to you? Everything. He's my life. If it wasn't for him, I would have never made it through this. Kerry Sarna, the 28 Tampa Bay Sports. Yay! Little League Player of the Week. The 28 Tampa Bay Sports Little League Player of the Week has a leg up on the competition, despite the fact he's had a leg down for a couple of weeks. This kid can plaster the ball, literally. Six-year-old B.J. Woods is playing baseball with a cast on his leg. It feels like I play baseball gooder than I didn't have a cast on before. Woods suffered a fractured growth plate in his right knee while goofing around at home, but that's not enough to keep him out of the lineup. I've never been on the news before. Go, go, go. I know that he's careful, but it's only on for three weeks, and I would wish that he would stay on the bench instead. But um, I suppose after today, someone's going to be sleeping on the sofa tonight. <laughs> Using the aid of a designated runner, BJ's hit eight home runs in 11 games and hasn't made an out all season. His Tarpon Springs T-Ball Redcats team is undefeated. I hit home runs. I like hitting home runs a lot. BJ Woods, the 28 Tampa Bay Sports. Way to go. What is that? That's your microphone. When am I going to say something? Little League Player of the Week. BJ gets his cast off on Tuesday, at which time he becomes just another ordinary Little Leaguer. For the first time ever, the 28 Tampa Bay Sports Little League Player of the Week has a ponytail, but there's a good reason for it. There's something special about the Yankees' first baseman in the Skyway Park T-Ball division, because the Yankees' first baseman... just so happens to be a first base woman, six-year-old Michelle Mandia. That's the first play of the game you have to earn. The first batter has to get it to you, and the kids out there, they got to um, throw it to um, the person who's on first base. Go, 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 go. The Yanks are in first place so far this season, and Michelle's one of the main reasons. I'm proud of her, though. I've always been proud. Very sharp kid. She's the only girl on her team, but Michelle doesn't mind. In fact, she likes being one of the guys. Because they're fun, and I like to play baseball with anyone. Michelle Mandia, the 28 Tampa Bay Sports Little League Player of the Week. Michelle wears her baseball hat backwards, because she says the other way gives her a headache. <laughs> I'm Drew Swish. <laughs>